In this video, we're going to take a look at solving two-step equations. As we do, the process we will use to solve them is very important that you learn and are very comfortable with. So even if you can solve these in your head, I want you to take the time to show your work and be very comfortable with this process. These two-step equations are probably one of the most important things that you are comfortable solving in this course. So let's take a look at them. First, I want to talk about when we're simplifying using the order of operations. We find using order of operations is there's division and addition in the same problem. We will always divide before we do any addition. Division comes before addition in order of operations. That's PEMDAS. Divide before you add. We'll see much the same thing when we're solving equations, but when we're solving equations, everything is working in reverse. If there's division in, if there's multiplication in the problem, we divide. If there's addition in the problem, we subtract. If there's subtraction in the problem, we add. Everything's working in reverse. So does order of operations. In reverse, we will always do the addition or subtraction first, and then divide second working in reverse. So for example, if I've got a problem like 5x minus 7, and we want to know what is the value for x that makes this a true equation, we want to get that x alone on that side of the equation. We've got to get rid of the 7, negative 7, and we've got to get rid of the 5. We get rid of those in different ways. First, we take care of the addition and subtraction. Order of operations backwards. Start with addition and subtraction. Right now, we've got negative 7 here. To get rid of the negative 7, we use positive 7, always on both sides to remain the balance. 7 negatives and 7 positives subtract out, and we're left with 5x equals 8 plus 7 is 15. Now, we have 5 times the x. We get rid of that multiplication by dividing both sides by the 5, by the number, so the x is completely alone. The x is alone, and 15 divided by 5 is 3 for our solution. We have found the value for x that makes the equation true. At least we think so. Let's check to make sure that's correct by replacing the x in the original equation with 3 and see if 5x, or 5 times 3 minus 7, is it really equal to 8? Well, 5 times 3 is 15, minus 7. Is that really equal to 8? Yes, it is. It really is. So that tells us our answer is the correct solution. Add and subtract first, multiply and divide second. Let's try one more example. In this problem, we have negative 9 is equal to negative 5 minus 2x. If we balance through the equal sign, we want to take care of the positives and negatives first. We've got these 5 negatives hanging out with the negative 2x. We get rid of those 5 negatives with 5 positives on both sides. That's our addition step first. Negative 9 and positive 5 is negative 4, equal to the negative 2x. Because that negative 2 is multiplied by x, we get rid of the multiplication by dividing both sides by the number, the entire number, negative 2, leaving x all alone on the right, and negative 4 divided by negative 2 is positive 2. And we have our solution. At least we think we do. Let's check it. Is negative 9 equal to negative 5 minus 2x, replacing the x with the 2. Well, we multiply first. Is negative 9 equal to negative 5 minus 2 times 2 is 4? Well, adding the opposite tells us that negative 9 equals negative 9. We have a true equation, which tells us that our solution is correct. We found the correct solution for x, the correct number to plug in for the variable to make that original equation true. We find it by adding or subtracting the single number first, and multiplying or dividing second.